I've tried a lot of your different standard resins, water washable resins, and the one thing that I keep having problems with is that how fragile they are. Now, admittedly, some of these larger prints might have broken due to insufficient curing, but every time I print something like a miniature, the first time I drop it or I'm like bend it a little bit too much, it's guaranteed to break. So I searched around for something better and came across any Cubics tough resin and thought I'd give it a try. On their stock photo, they have this resin printed ball that they printed. So I decided to try to find something similar and give it a try. The first thing I wanted to do was try kind of a drop test and see how it went on a hard surface. So I took this ball, tossed it, and it had zero effect on the print. But I was like, you know what? In their image, they're hitting it with a hammer. So can I do something similar, but a little bit more measurable? So I created one of these in standard washable resin. And I created the other one in the tough resin, which I added some resin dye to, to make it purple. And so it's a little bit easier to see and differentiate between. Now, these you can, these dyes you can get on Amazon or pretty much anywhere. I'll have a link down in the description if anybody's interested in the resin or the resin dye or anything that I have in the video. So jumping right in, we're gonna take a measure at the beginning and try to measure how long it goes until we see the first crack in the lattice or hear the first crack. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up and we're gonna test out the standard washable resin first. And this is any cubic resin as well. So I thought I heard a crack in it. It's got a little bit of a fracture here, but we're gonna go ahead and see if uh, it goes a little bit further before it just fails. Okay, and there we go. We see our first definite crack in the lattice at 42 millimeters. And here, you know, once this cracks, it this is done. This this thing shattered so easily after that initial crack, and it just absolutely crumbles. So now we're gonna go ahead and try the tough resin in purple. We're gonna go ahead and get it in the same spot as the other one. And we're gonna go ahead and tighten it. And already we've gotten it further than the last one. Um, I thought I might have heard a crack, so I'm gonna go ahead and loosen it up. And actually, no, it's fine. Uh, I can even uh, pop these out and yeah, it's, it's perfectly fine here. So we're gonna go ahead and put it back in and see how long it goes again. So we've already beat the water washable resin by quite a bit but we'll see how far this goes before it, it gets a similar fracture to the standard resin. And it's just going and going. So we're here at about 17.6. So we're gonna go ahead and take it out now and we'll see what we got. Okay, so we do have a crack there. It's not nearly as bad as the original one, but I'll try to pop it out. And yeah, I can I can pop it out mostly. Now there, you'll see we got our first failure. And one thing's for sure, when this print loses its integrity, it's kind of all downhill from there. But even this one, unlike the other one, this one is a lot tougher. You know, I can try to bend this and it doesn't shatter nearly as much as the water washable. I really have to work at this to try to break it. 
And I've printed several minis in this since this test, and they've been great. So this one got to about 17.7 before we de got our first definite failure. So I would say that's definitely a huge improvement over the water washable resin. So to this UV tough resin from Anycubic, I would give it a 10 out of 10. Would recommend definitely. The standard resin is not bad for... I also recommend trying out some resin dyes because they can give you some really cool translucent colors if you just get a clear then you can try out all different kinds of colors of resin. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you out. And if you like the video, feel free to like, subscribe and leave a comment down below.